It's one of the busiest and most deadly weekends on the province's roads, the BC Day Long Weekend. According to ICBC, on average, two people are killed and 562 people are injured in 2,064 crashes over the holiday weekend each year. It's already been a deadly summer on BC roads. The provincial coroner's office released a warning last month after 19 people were killed in crashes in less than a week. BC Highway Patrol says it's important to be patient, pay attention and stay in your lane to avoid head-on collisions. People think they have enough time to go around, um, but then the head-on collision happens because they want to get somewhere faster. So, so we're trying to put out the message to be patient and just wait for the passing lanes. Another common cause of accidents is impaired driving. RCMP say they'll be stepping up enforcement over the long weekend. There could be even more travel complications this weekend. With wildfires burning in many parts of the province, officials are calling on you to pay attention to alerts and to keep your car stocked up with food, water, emergency supplies like these, and of course gas in case of delays or road closures. The RCMP say there are even more more cars on the road than usual this year with many displaced from wildfires in Alberta needing to travel through BC. Fatigue is another major cause of accidents. ICBC says if you find yourself yawning, drifting, nodding off, it's time to take a break. We often see the most traffic on our roads at this time of the year and you might it might take two, three, four, five more hours to get to, to your location. So be realistic about your travel time and, and build in some, some, some wiggle room so that it's not a crucial issue. You don't have to get anywhere by a specific time. He says you should take frequent breaks, find someone to split the driving with you if possible, and take it slow so you make it to where you're going in one piece. In Vancouver, Jack Morse, City News.